Here we go. Let's do the posting. Okay, and I think we're going to be good to go. What's going on, everybody? Mobius Y here on Stellaris Console Edition. Time of recording this Tuesday, December 1st. So we're jumping back in with the Planet Express. This will be the last stream featuring the Planet Express, as a matter of fact. And then we're going to be moving on to our next game in the... Um, the next time that uh, we jump into Stellaris Console Edition. So, those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out. Um, you know, share the video, if or just share any of my videos. Uh, if you are trying to get people interested in trying out Stellaris Console Edition. Um, or if you think uh, more people should... Uh, Give my stuff a shot. That kind of, that kind of thing. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for the official Stellaris Discord channel. You can become a part of the Greater Stellaris community by clicking that link. You'll find one for my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of. Come on by and watch me playing live. And uh, there's two more. One for my Twitter. Give me a follow there. And last but not least, one for my own personal Discord for fans of my content. It's not mandatory, but I highly recommend it. You can take part in viewer polls, deciding what kind of games I play on stream and stuff like that. Okay, so where we left off. Things are not good. Uh, the contingency is hanging around, and our economy is really, really bad. <laughs> so, it's okay. Hey, Joe Frog, man, what's going on? I know you're not going to say anything, but thanks for coming by tonight. Uh, what are we going to do? We're just going to have to try and boost our economy as best as possible. Um, which I don't even know if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of these ruined arcologies. Man, it takes a long-ass time to get rid of one of these ruined arcologies. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. I just reset the timer. Fuck. Alright, well, let's just... God dang it. Freaking curses! All right, we're going to um, do a foundry arcology, and then we will get rid of uh, a couple more ruined arcologies. Uh, minerals are the big big problem right now, because if we, if we can't boost our minerals output, then we can't really boost our alloys output, which is a significant, significant hindrance. Um... So what I'm thinking we're going to do, we're just, we're just going to try and uh, stay alive. Might not be too difficult. Um, I mean, we have a decent fleet somewhere, but uh, not nothing too great. So we're probably going to do that. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, too. Um, I think come next year, once we get through all the games that uh, people voted on for me to play, uh, we're going to finish up Battle Stations Pacific probably next week because I'm ripping through these missions pretty quickly. I hope we can get through the U.S. campaign by the end of uh, next week on like December 10th or something like that. On the Friday there. Uh, or sorry, the 11th. So if we can finish that up and then we move on to Detroit Become Human. Hopefully I can finish that in a couple weeks. I know it's not a terribly long game, but uh, you know... We do want to get through it and then do some uh, The Last of Us Remastered uh, in January. Or may, like start late December, but get through it in January. And then I'm honestly thinking of starting to stream Stellaris Console Edition twice a week. And uh, not just that, uh, but our stream games, we drop it down to maybe we only stream it like six times. So do like six chapters as opposed to ten. And then we can get through... Uh, a full stream game after like three weeks as opposed to almost three months uh, just to kind of speed things along so we can keep keep evolving keep trying new and different things what do I want to build here um, hmm, turn cons turn consumer goods into unity and society research eh, we already have the mineral purification plant anything I build doesn't really seem to help us out too much right now this is this is crazy. Oh, boy. 
I have a wee bit of loss. Anyways, and the, and the other thing too is I'm kind of thinking of starting to stream Age of Wonders Planetfall because I've been playing that a lot lately. We'll see if I'm still playing it a crap ton. Uh, it could just very well be like New Game Syndrome. I have that where I try out a new game and, you know, it's like, oh, I kind of like it. And then I try it out for two, three months. Uh, I have been playing it. I haven't been playing it a lot, excuse me, since uh, about three weeks ago when I bought it. I'm just trying to crank out some achievements and stuff like that, mostly. Um, but I haven't been playing a hell of a lot of Stellaris Console Edition off-camera, which, I don't know, big no-no. Uh, let's get a couple city districts here. We're running low on housing. Um, so, I'm, you know, if, if I don't really have anything else in the works or no real good ideas for other games to try streaming, you know, I could do, like, two streams of Stellaris Console Edition in a week. And two streams of Age of Wonders Planetfall in a, in a week. Uh, you know, two Paradox games to try out. Or, hell, if I can get a copy of, like, Empire of Sin sooner rather than later at, like, a discount or something, that's a... Actually, that's another Paradox game that just came out today, and it looks pretty cool. You basically play as a mob boss, and, uh... You try to take over Chicago, and it's in a grand strategy. You know, your typical... Uh, paradox game format. It, it just seems kind of cool, you know. It, it's like you're. It's uh, it. How do, how, how do you do that? I got ideas floating in my head, but I can't can't voice them with words because uh, I'm just not that bright. You know, you take on the role of Al Capone in a grand strategy game, that kind of a thing. You know, it, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'd be interested in uh, trying it out. Okay, so um, we have a ring section here. This is done in a thousand days. That would be really nice to get that online. Uh, get some... That's that's our hope for stabilizing our energy economy. I don't think we're going to have enough time. We'll probably just colonize it, get a few districts up and running, and that might be all we have time for uh, with this stream. So I, I don't know. Empire of Sin looks pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot, see if I like it. Um, let's see. We still have an unemployed specialist... And a couple unemployed workers here, hey? Alright, well, let's do an alloy foundry. Yeah, we can afford that. Gotta do something in place of Megacorp. Um, oh yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we might make, we might get the new DLC as early as January, February. Um, seeing as uh, we don't have an official like release date yet, and it could very well drop on us like in early January and just be like, hey, by the way, this is coming out in such and such time, like super duper soon, and it's like, oh shit, oh okay, new stuff's coming, sweet. Thank you for the reminder, Razor, I actually kind of forgot about that, I don't know why, you'd, you'd think that would be one thing that I just keep in the back of my head at all times, but uh, I guess not. He's a drum. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we got two available clerk jobs? Alright, we'll leave it at that, we don't really need a heritage site on this world. Um... Thanks for coming by tonight, Razor. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. But yeah, plan I do like... <laughs> Uh-oh. Big sneeze. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. I do like Planetfall quite a lot, and that's part of the reason why I'm playing it a fair bit. I'm, I'm honestly... There's... Um, in the base game, there's six races you can play as, and there's six what's called secret techs, which you can pair up with your races. And one of the ways to win in Age of Wonders Planetfall is with what's called the Doomsday Weapon uh, from your secret tech. And while it's a different Doomsday Weapon from uh, the secret techs, the process is the same, and you win the game when you activate the Doomsday Weapon Receiving and it takes effect after ten, after ten turns. Ooh, hello, Defensive Pact? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can do that. Um, so when the Doomsday Weapon actually fires, you win the game. And uh, like I said, the process is the same for each of the secret techs, but uh, uh, like the wording and stuff like that is different, and their actual effects are different. So I'm playing, uh, I'm going through the games uh, as each race at least once with uh, each of the secret techs at least once, just to try out the different races and the secret techs and stuff like that. Oh, huh. research agreement, sure. Um, and it's, it's, for, it's fun. Uh, it's, um, it's helping me learn the game, so I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Was hinting towards criminal heritage elements of Megacorp, kind of like Empire of Sin. Oh, gotcha. That's a good point. 
Mandate unfulfilled. Our dispatcher's reign has come to an end with their election campaign promise unfulfilled. That's going to be common in this portion of the game because we just can't really do too much. Alright, so... Do you think we have a fleet that can retake Alpha Centauri before we lose all of our... Oh, never mind. These guys are pretty much all dead. <laughs> well... That's too bad. Alpha Yo Mama has been uh, successfully purged thanks to the contingency. That's too bad. Um, let's see. That's something I need to check out, though, is... Uh, oh, they're... Yeah, that's right. I need to do something about that. Undesirables, 36. That's no good. All right, where are our fleets? We got lots of armies on definitely not Earth. We are going to... Where's the embark all button? Oh, right, X. There we go. And then we need the fleets. We need the cruisers and the battlers. Where are you going? Well, you're way over here. Holy shit. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I need to move you to Seoul, I think. Cruisers and battlers. Oh, no, do not go through the L gate. Okay, you know what I need to do is, uh, ye good old, holy crap, the contingency is all over the place in the L gates, it looked like, in the L cluster. Oh, maybe not, it's just the Great Tempest everywhere. Okay, here's what we're going to do, we're going to restrict this system. Boom, it is now restricted, you are not allowed to go there. I keep forgetting how handy that tool is, um... In all honesty, I, I really do. It's it's good. It's a handy thing to have. We need to uh, restrict Rixicar. Ooh, Jesus. What am I doing? Restrict Rixicar's maw. There we go. System now restricted. The cruisers. No, you don't go that way. Stop doing that. Why are you, why are you doing this? Why do you do this? There we go. That's better. Maybe we can unrestrict Rixicar's Maw. It's mostly it's mostly terminal egress that I'm worried about. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. So they won't use the L gates to do the fast travel, which is good because they won't complete. run they won't run into uh, uh, what's it called? Um, geez, contingency fleets that way. Talking is hard tonight. Um, I don't know. I just uh, eh. Continuing trying to mix things up. I do. I do like playing some of these shorter games. Like I think we. I think we spent uh, a little bit too long playing Dark Souls. Like that was a good like two months. Um, despite the fact that I was streaming it three times a week, it was. Uh, like we did get through it somewhat quickly, but it'd be kind of nicer playing these shorter games and getting through them in like a few weeks. You know, it was. I had a lot of fun streaming Massive Chalice. That's a super fun game, done in like ten streams. Um, the way, the way things are going, we'll probably be done Battle Stations Pacific in about 10 streams as well. So, really enjoying myself with these. Oh, what do we got now? Hello. You are back in Alpha Centauri, eh? And they're moving to Procyon. That's not good. Ote knows. Ote knows. The big thing is I need to get over my uh, initial fondness with Planet Fall and get back to playing Stellaris Console Edition because I need to get some new save states for some for some videos. Um, I have a couple ideas for additional videos that I really need to work on, but I checked my current save states and I was like, oh man, none of these really work. I'll have to start whole new fucking games again, and I was like, ah oh, man, which is brutal. I could that could take I could take a week getting some decent save states for construction making, project concluded making YouTube content but it's all but it's all good it's all part of the all part of the process okay we could do another 14 districts on this planet so we're gonna tote some goats do that do five mineral districts and then we can uh Fill it up Station with whatever else we need. Damage. Oh, hello. They already moved here. Spaceport oh, that outpost damage. is 
Spaceport's just staining. What do you mean, spaceport? What spaceport? Construction project concluded. Probably meant Starbase. I don't know why it said Spaceport. There's no, there's no enemies in Seoul. And I'm pretty sure there's no enemies in Behirim. So, yeah. That was weird. Maybe I misunderstood what he said. Um, okay, what do we got going on here? We have five empty clerk jobs. Eh... We have a lot of housing, though. Man. And we have research labs. <laughs> research labs up the yin-yang. We can't really upgrade those because our exotic gases are only plus 7, and we only have plus 50 consumer goods. So if we upgrade all those and get more researchers, our consumer goods will go in the pooper, which will suck. Okay, we can absolutely do another alloy foundry here. Not ideal. Uh, actually, maybe we could do a Ministry of Production. Those are always nice. Research concluded. Uh, where is it? Uh, ministry of Production. I guess I don't have it. Okay, never mind. That's fine. That's okay. Another alloy foundry it is. All right, what do we get here? Concluded. Scientific Revolution, Architectural Rest and Renaissance, and Research Grants all ended. Um, can we re-up those? Uh, we definitely want architectural renaissance. 21,000? Okay. That's fine. We can afford both. And then we also go back up. Uh, we can't do living metal mega construction. Unfortunately, I have no way of getting living metal right now, which totally sucks. Not having a source to living metal in a regular, like, in a regular game. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm streaming it or not. Man, that is such a hindrance. Why am I... Okay, I'm upping applied superconductivity because energy is a problem. I need to start working on things like flash coolant and focusing arrays, really. 28 months for that. Holy crap. That's no good. Tis a long ways off. Okay, so now where are these guys going? Absolutely nowhere. Okay, good. Now, where are my armies again? Uh, whoop, whoop. Oh, hello! Hello! Ooh, that's not a good spot for them to be. Damn. I need them to regroup. Can they do a jump? No, they cannot. Shit. Oh, I want to get this... I need to... Uh, I really want to get the transport fleet over here to try and take back the worlds, but I think everybody's going to get purged by the time we arrive. I don't know. Maybe. Mortanus, what's going on, buddy? Sorry I'm late, folks. Twitch has been acting weird for me for the last three streams. Yeah, it's okay, man. That's been, that's been a recurring problem, I'm hearing. Um, okay, another not Earth. We got housing problems here. Hey? Well, we could just resettle this one guy. Resettle him to last ditch. Okay, well, now we gotta scroll all the way down to the unemployed guy. There we go. Got a new building available here. Very good. Uh, what do we construct? Do we have an energy grid? No, we do not. Let's plop it down. What do we got? Arachnid species has completed construction of a gateway. I was hoping it was indication that we have a... Uh, Uh-oh. That we have a uh, Ringworld section online. Oh, this guy's moving to Barnard Star. Oh, that's not good. That's on the doorstep of the soul system. Oh no. We're getting refugees from the Tajel regulators. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Alright, we're going to have to uh, crank out some defense platforms, I think. So, uh, if I do an ion cannon, that leaves us with what, seven defense platforms? Eh, I don't know if I should do... Yeah, fuck it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an ion cannon. Construction project oh, what? I did that wrong, I guess. One more. Now we get an iron cannon. There we go. Okay. Very good. Very nice. We still have an unemployed specialist here. Are you kidding me? Eh, whatever. We're going to try to make our last, our last stand here in the soul system. Or I should say a stand. 
here in the soul system. Unfortunately, how many freaking titans do we have? We just got the two titans, and we, we we do not have much in the way of a of ships. We really don't. But uh, I think uh, where are these guys? They're closing in. So I think what we'll do is we can jump into the uh, fleet manager. We'll take a look at the battlers. We should be able to increase number of. No, we cannot. Just another three. Okay. Usually you can have. Usually it's like two thirty. Huh. Okay. Damage. We'll do that and then cruisers. Offline. How many can we add? Ooh, a lot more. Holy crap! Unfortunately, I don't think the cruisers are gonna do very well. Uh. Against the billions of. Um, oh man, I didn't even build enough cruisers to fill this out. Um, I don't think the cruisers are going to uh, hold up too well against the contingency uh, ships. They, they'll have to get in a lot closer. And we've got more enemy ships in here. It looks like, oh, a construction ship. He's going to build a station. And this guy is doing what? Moving to Barnard Research Star. Oh, completed. not good. Not sure if I missed it in a previous stream or not, but I think it may still be guaranteeing independence. Uh, no, uh, I don't think I don't think we are anymore. Um, even if we were, it don't really matter. The, the entire galaxy is going to crap. Okay, so we finished another repeatable, and we got rid of the naval capacity repeatable, so we'll pretty much never see it again because we did the grade five version of it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do proclamation broadcast. Actually, isn't too bad. Rivalry, hey? Eh, well, fuck you. Okay, let's see. Contacts. That was the Shazerat colonel that we are, we're guaranteeing independence to, I do believe. Uh, yeah, we have a we have a defensive pact with them. We have a defensive pact with the Replicators and the Shazerat colonel right now. Um, which is cool. But... Eh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any major wars breaking out on our side of the galaxy. Because we're... Aside from the Tegel Regulators, which are getting absolutely annihilated. Uh, like, this is all they have left for, for systems from the looks of things. Um, oh, hello. The replicators are closing in. Are they still at war? Crazy. I think they are. Looks like the replicators are gonna... If they're still at war... Uh, where are they? Tijel regulators, they are... Oh, no, they just have Cassus Belli. Okay, they're not at war. Invite to Federation, eh? Uh, let's institute the increased benef benefits. Yeah, I was thinking more in terms of influence. Yeah, that's that's fine. We're getting lots of influence. We've got the uh, will to power um, thing going on. So, can we invite these other guys into a federation? Uh, invite to federation. War philosophy forbids wars of aggression. No driven driven assimilators. Big nopes all around. Well, that's too bad. What about the Shazrak Colonel? Invite to Federation. War philosophy for, forbids wars of aggression. Machine intelligence. Eh. Uh-oh. Hello. Where's this? Oh, Goffia. This was supposed to be one of our bastions. We kind of did upgrade it. Sort of. But, uh... Yeah. It's not going to do jack shit. That's too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, we're in trouble. It looks like the full-on contingency offensive is uh, coming our way. Not good. Ah, boy, oh boy. It's okay. Can I still reinforce all? No, we, re we reinforced all of our fleets with everything we can. There's a crap load of cruisers being built, that's for sure. Jeez. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's close this thing. I don't need... I don't need whoops. Close that down. Don't want to look at it. Uh, what's the other one? Close down sectors. 
Fingers crossed. All right, we also got to take a look. At, we need to take a look at uh, also not Earth. Got an unemployment problem here. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Yeah. Nope. There ain't jack shoot that we can do about it. We're getting over 50 amenities on this planet. That's brutal. That means that I have a lot of clerk jobs. I mean, to be fair, I have two commerce megaplexes, but that's only 10 clerk jobs, so we're looking at 20 amenities just from that. And I can't get rid of them because then we lose those jobs. I might have to replace an alloy foundry with another... Uh, Commerce Megaplexes, just to add three more jobs and make sure that we have enough jobs to hit 80 pops, 80 working pops, which will allow us to upgrade to a system capital complex um, capital structure. Oh my god, hello. Jeez, I can't believe I totally forgot about the wormhole in Alpha Centauri. That, that's really... Project concluded. Really making, really making me bite the bullet there. This, this stinks. This stinks. Sucks big poo poo. <laughs> All right, how are we doing on this ring world section? Ooh, we're down to twelve days remaining. Beautiful. And we don't have enough alloys to do the next section. I kind of dumped a crap ton of alloys into uh, shipbuilding, but it's okay. We're getting th over three hundred alloys per month now, which is awesome. There we go. Ring world section complete. We're going to colonize this bad boy immediately. Where are our delicious, delicious humans? Hello. Um, what are we going to call this? Thing is how I just said delicious humans. We're going to call this first section. I christened thee the delicious section. It's not going to be food, though. Just to add extra confusion. <laughs> So there's a there's a lot of changes coming uh, or on the horizon for Stellaris. Probably going to see it in uh, on the PC version in 2021, and we I don't think we'll see it on console version until like 2022. But they're changing. Uh, they're they're adding an industrial district where it adds one artisan job and one metallurgist job per district. Uh, so districts that produce jobs. Uh, to generate, or sorry, districts that generate jobs to produce consumer goods and alloys together, and then you get other ways of increasing the amount of jobs that your districts create through the construction of, you know, certain buildings or something like that, as opposed to just spamming a metric ass ton of, you know, alloy foundries or whatever uh, on as many planets as you can, that kind of thing. Uh, as well as adding things like uh, transit hubs to allow for pops to automatically resettle from uh, planets where there is some some level of unemployment or overcrowding, and those pops automatically resettle themselves into uh, or onto a world with open jobs. And if you do it manually, it costs you some influence or something like that, so that you can do it, but it's uh, much more expensive than just blowing a couple hundred chunks of energy credits or something like that. And so it seems really cool. They're, they're definitely taking a look at reducing the amount of micromanagement going on uh, in the late game. And of course, it's got to start with uh, on the PC version. Um, so hopefully we see it at some point on console edition. Who knows? That's a, that's like I said. That's a big maybe. Uh, 2022, I would guess. Uh, let's go ahead and do get rid of another ruined arcology. Nonetheless, it's uh, it's it's pretty exciting stuff. Even though we're not going to see it for a while, it is pretty exciting stuff because, as I've said several times, the the late game. Like if if there's nothing going on late game. Uh, like, if you've just got wars everywhere, but you're still able to expand and colonize new worlds, and you still have pops that you can grow uh, within your empire and stuff like that, late game pop management is a major pain in the ass. Um, it becomes less about, you know, empire, it's, it's less like, you know, empire management and stuff like that, and it's more like pop resettlement simulator and uh, economy simulator, basically, so... Um, seeing changes like that, being uh, or hearing news that they are working on stuff like that, is uh, quite reassuring, and, and I am somewhat excited for it. Like I said, even though we're not going to see it for a while, uh, it is complete. on the horizon. I know that uh, 
I know that the devs, uh, Paradox in particular, they have not, you know, completely abandoned console edition, because uh, my understanding is that it actually is quite successful. Um, every time it's on discount, uh, like a significant discount, like it was for the Black Friday sales, which just ended, or they're ending in like the next day or two, um, they always get, you know, several thousand at the very least, several thousand more copies sold and stuff like that. Um, which is good. We need to... need to see that kind of thing going on. Uh, so, focusing crystals and volatile reactive armor. Where was the other one? Ambition, will to power. We can enact this again. There we go. Just enough unity for that. Um, so, yeah. Bottom line, this is, this is all good news. And I am... Looking forward to it. Uh, let's let's take a look. See, where else do we need to go? Another not Earth. What's happening here? We have two unemployed pops, but we're also out two housing. So let's go ahead and resettle these guys to Station last ditch. Damage. Boop boop. There we go. What station is that? I wonder. Oh, Larbo. Okay. Research Whatever. Concluded. Okay, and we've got the Soul Station finished its queue of spaceships. Flash Coolant 1, let's get Flash Coolant 2. Uh, me personally, when I start getting onto the repeatables for uh, improving the effectiveness of my energy weapons, I always start with the attack speed. Uh, when your weapons shoot faster, uh, you know, you do. Doing, doing more damage per shot is good, but your overall DPS goes up, I think significantly more uh, when you increase how fast they they shoot you know I do believe this is this is one thing that I could really use some assistance with is uh, I'm trying to get a friend of mine <coughs> Joe <coughs> Joe <coughs> Joe the frogman <coughs> to actually uh, stop ignoring me and uh, jump in a game with me and I want to get to a save state where uh, like we have no repeatables or anything like that done yet um, and then we can use various uh, ship construction templates to test out all sorts of things in terms of like combat like stick 50 corvettes on one side against 50 corvettes on the other side with no improved uh, no improved uh, like sensors or thrusters or no admiral giving additional bonuses Nothing like that. We have the exact same uh, bonuses being applied to all of our ships, um, and the like. The only difference is ship designs. Like this, fi these 50 Corvettes have all lasers versus these 50 Corvettes have all mass drivers or something like that. And then we both have like the exact same number of shield and armor components uh, for defenses, stuff like that. Um, Making videos like that could. Uh, you know, for testing purposes like that, I think it, it could be yield some interesting results and lead to us learning all sorts of neat stuff. It'd be really nice to. Uh, it, could be, it could be a really good way to answer some questions. Obviously, it wouldn't just be okay. Let's do a battle with these kind of fleet loadouts on each side. You know, let's do tachyon lances against giga cannons, and then have like one battle where it's like 20 battleships against 20 battleships and the, that one battle it's like oh the fleet with the giga cannons won this battle giga cannons are better no it, it's like let's run this multiple times okay we got an enemy fleet closing in holy shit prepare for battle let's uh move our ships just a little bit away i don't want them taking the initial blasts oh this is not going to go well I don't want them taking the initial blasts. I want the star base to uh, draw some fire first. Oh boy, here we go. I don't think this is going to go well because this is not a bastion star base. It only has some defense platforms. Uh, like seven defense platforms and, a, and an ion cannon. I'm kind of glad I have the ion cannon. But uh, yeah, what do we have? We've got our two titans. 23 battleships, 41 cruisers. Station Should have like 50 damage. cruisers. Oh, hello. It's already being it's already being whacked. I don't think we're gonna finish this ion cannon. 
Yeah, the timer should pause any moment now. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there goes our Tachyon Lances. Blasting them. Oh, no. Ooh, we've already lost. Ooh, we're... Our cruisers are getting... Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Well... <laughs> that was our glorious final stand. <laughs> oh, man. We got absolutely eviscerated. <laughs> um, to be fair, I didn't have anywhere near enough ships. Um, the, the one Iron Man game that I actually haven't played it about uh, almost a month. Uh... The only reason I, I even beat the contingency back in that game is because I had a massive empire with, like, several fortress worlds. So my naval capacity was, like, 3,000, and I was able to have just a huge number of ships. Never mind Research the fact that completed. every battle I still took casualties because the contingency ships absolutely annihilated my ships uh, whenever they were... Oh, that's why I didn't have enough fleet command limit. Duh. Um, let's up that. Um... Like, I'd still take casualties, but it was the only way to actually, you know, take on a contingency fleet is just have overwhelming, an overwhelmingly uh, higher amount of ships. It was insane. Okay, well, we got a problem here, because I don't know where all my military ships are now. Uh, hello. And the cruisers, you guys need to move here. Uh, their reinforcements, I don't know what the hell's going to go on with their reinforcements. Sounds familiar. <laughs> be ready to hop capitals if need be. Good luck, man. This is really an interesting run. Nut shots everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it's been... Oh, man, we just lost a couple more cruisers. That sucks. Yeah, every, every time it's like, okay, we got a chance to bounce back, and it's like, no, we get, we get another fucking punch in the dick. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's sometimes ye old Stellaris games. That's just how they go. I'm not a terribly huge fan of them, but it is it is comical when they happen. I will not deny that. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. I have an idea. We're going to open up the contacts and just to be a bunch of dicks. Hey, to the regulators, you uh, want to form that federation now? <laughs> Maybe we can uh, be the leaders of it. Not just you, though. Literally the entire galaxy. Yeah, no kidding. Federation form. First, I open up the uh, Prakiki tea. Oh, hello. Uh, the Rigging Commerce Exchange. Uh, you must throw away your old ways. Okay. Our citizens greet you in peace. Um... Yeah, with the, with the Prakiki tea, we have considered your offer carefully and decided to join the Righteous Pact. Uh, and, uh, like, pretty much everything has been our fault, too, which I think is the best part about it. <laughs> we uh, started the Prakiki tea, we opened up the L Cluster uh, that uh, unleashed the Great Tempest. And then we uh, got big enough to make the Fallen Empire awaken. <laughs> and then the contingency so it showed up. The contingency, I don't really think we were 100% at fault because of the contingency. But uh, still, we had a part to play in it. <laughs> uh, what are we going to rename this uh, federation? Uh, I don't know. I, I have an idea. We're going to call this the uh, Please Don't Kill Us Federation. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Rename Federation Please Don't Kill Us. <laughs> there we go. I like it. <laughs> Ready to go. Crime boss arrested on Not Earth. Ooh, hello. An important crime boss on Not Earth was recently caught in an enforcer sting operation. The loss of their leader has severely curtailed the activities of one of the planet's major criminal organizations, leading to a marked decrease in crime. So crime has dropped by 30 thanks to um, cracking down on, uh, on crime on this planet. Let's check out the planet modifiers. We've got a criminal underworld, crime boss arrested... 
Complete That's okay. Silence. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Wow. Okay, whoops. I guess a cruiser showed up in that AF. A couple of them. Holy shit. Oh, we lost our reinforcement battleships, too. Son of a bitch. Project concluded. See, that's my one complaint with the fleet manager here, is if you get... Ooh, hello, amenities. If you get... Uh... Oh, that's right. They're not going to fill that job. If you get uh, reinforcements, they don't show up in your uh, list of ships as well. Um, System survey concluded. When they're trying to re when they're trying to regroup and uh, merge with your fleet that you told them to reinforce, they don't show up in the list of uh, military fleets in the outliner, and they're a pain in the ass to try and find in the galaxy map and stuff like that and select them. Blah blah blah. Ugh, nightmarish. Okay, um, so we're gonna have to move from another not Earth to. Where is it? We are Fubard. There we go. Move that guy. Let's see. Where else is some unemployment? Let's move some folks from Australia. We got a lot of unemployed people here in Australia. And that is not a jab at the real world situation in Australia. <laughs> Alright. There we go. That should do it now. We should be able to go to last ditch. Oops. Was that last ditch? No. That was supposed to be we are Fubard. Okay. Last ditch. Let's upgrade the energy grid. And then we can do a mineral purification plant with some gener uh, mining districts. Excuse me. The remnant. The remnant. What, like Mass Effect Andromeda? Uh, okay, we can get more buildings here. Need to get rid of these ruined arcologies. Oh, hello. Four unemployed specialists. Really? Really. Ugh, whatever. China and Australia are really not liking each other lately. I mean, I don't think anybody's really liking China lately. <laughs> well, we have lost control of our capital system. So we're going to have to... We are clearly going to have to move our capital to Australia. Why, you ask? Because, why not? Our capital world is now Australia, which is a penal colony. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, Empire Capital. And it's still a penal colony, too. That's the other thing. Uh, you, ju you just don't see it designated as one in this little portion here. But you go to Planet Modifiers, and it's still a penal colony. <laughs> no, just the remnant. Oh, okay. Low stability on Earth. Well, I can't help you there because you're being bombarded, so bite me. <laughs> I'm probably just going to battle my way through this chapter as uh, we slowly die to the contingencies, uh, sterilization protocols. And unfortunately, our fleets are now stuck here in Ibucrosis, which really, 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 really sucks donkey dick. Building oh, man, why is my... Ruined. Hey, which part of your hand gets sore when you're having a stroke? <laughs> Not mine. Earth. Um, let's take a look-see. We could use... We got two districts available here. That's awful. Off L. Alright, let's do a mining district and a city district. Ugh. I colonized a size 11 world. Yeah, things were that desperate. Where I colonized a size 11 world. Awful. Awful. Yeah. Um, you know what? We could talk about ideas of what to do in our next playthrough. See, the idea with this playthrough was we play as a peaceful human uh, we play as a peaceful human uh, species, which I did and then we have nothing but uh, aggressive and or warmongering uh, custom empires in the game and I'm, I custom made multiple uh, empires for that. I believe six or five. I think just five. So we had... Um, I, I kind of did something, what, did what I could with uh, the replicators from uh, Stargate, or specifically Stargate SG-1. Uh, made them driven in assimilators, uh, so they're a machine empire. 
Uh, I did the Mimbari Federation from Babylon 5, which I've actually never read. I had to do a little bit of research for this. Uh, criminal Underworld modifier removed from not Earth. Good. So the Mimbari Federation, I did them as kind of spiritualists to directly oppose our materialist ways. Uh, uh oh, we're running out of energy big time. Let's sell some food. Boop. Um, the arachnid species from uh, Starship Troopers made them a concluded. hive mind devouring swarm. Uh, because, you know, everybody loves those. Why am I suddenly unemployed with f four unemployed specialists all of a sudden? Was that. I thought it was just two earlier, but now I have four. What the fuck? Ah. <sighs> Uh, let's go to Not Earth. We need to resettle some pops from Not Earth to We Are Fubard because there are workers here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Building Ooh. status. Oops, I just destroyed Ooh. a building. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Um, if you get the chance and don't want anything else experimental, jumping could be useful. Yes, very true, but that's only on science ships. Um, anyway, so the arachnids from Starship Troopers, I made them a devouring swarm. Hive mind. Um, that's three of them. We also had the Tyrannic Raiders, which are actually from a little, a little game, a little yeah, lesser known status. game and franchise Ooh. called Homeworld. Um, Homeworld, what came out in 1999, I want to say, 1999, uh, made by Sierra Game Studios fantastic game. It is super duper old school, but it is the first fully three-dimensional real-time strategy game. It's based in space and uh, the premise is that your uh, your civilization which lives on like the fringes of the galaxy uh, on a fairly hostile uh, desert world uh, they suspected where it's just like, you know, we're at, we actually have different genetic makeup and evolutionary uh, chains from all other uh, natural life on this planet. Like, did we even come from this planet? But uh, you've, uh, your, your civilization, before the game starts, actually discovered a crashed ship in the desert uh, somewhere on, on your home world. And... Uh, it basically contains uh, information and a relic called the Guidestone to the center of the galaxy with the name of your actual homeworld. So it confirms that concluded. your uh, origin is not of that world. So your civilization comes together and spends the next hundred years constructing um, a big scaffold in orbit. Uh, and then in the scaffold, constructing a big-ass mothership to house several hundred thousand of your people uh, in cryosleep and uh, take them across the galaxy to your homeworld. And, uh, you know, all, all, sorts of, all sorts of bad shit happens. And the Tyrannic Raiders are actually one of the hostile species that you encounter in homeworld uh, trying to destroy you. So I base the Tyrannic Raiders... Uh, they were barbaric to spoilers, so they had the raiding stance. They could have stolen pops if they so chose. Uh, that's kind of that kind of fits with their lore in the homeworld universe. Is that uh, nobody's really established communications with them too much. They kind of just they just raid nearby systems and empires for resources and stuff like that. So I made them barbaric to spoilers, uh, hoping that they would be somewhat hostile. Um, they were uh, xenophobic and militarist to directly Research counteract. Concluded. Oh, hello. Ruler leveled up to directly, you know, make, make them dislike us right off the hop. Um, anyways, big tangent there. So that was the uh, third, uh, no, the fourth species I created. So we had uh, Driven Assimilators, Replicators, Devouring Swarm Arachnids, uh, the spiritualist Minbari, like fanatic spiritualists. So they disliked us because we were materialist. Uh, the... Uh, xenophobic and militarist uh, barbaric to spoilers in the Tyrannic Raiders from Homeworld. And then the last empire that I created was actually the Krogan clans from uh, from Mass Effect. I don't know... I, I must have fucked something up because the Shazerac colonel spawned instead. It was supposed to be the Krogan clans that were fanatic militarist. Nothing special about them. They didn't have, like, determined exterminators or anything like that. 
Uh, they were just like fanatic militarists and something else. I can't remember. I think they were also like xenophobic or something so that they disliked us. So the idea was we play as a very like a pacifist human species and we have the exact polar opposite um what's it called uh ethos as the other the other empires so the tyrannic raiders and the krogan were militarist were pacifist were egalitarian and i do believe the um the bimbari or something were authoritarian somebody somebody was authoritarian i can't remember who and then we were also materialist, where while the Minbari are fanatic spiritualists. So everybody like was supposed to dislike us off the hop and kind of, you know, go to war with us. That didn't happen because we went to war with the Prikikiti. <laughs> and from there, it was just all downhill. <laughs> JB, what's going on? What game is this? Stellaris. I mean, the one he's talking about. Oh, never mind. Oh, you mean Homeworld? Uh, when I was talking about Homeworld earlier, where you travel across the galaxy to get back to your homeworld. <laughs> uh, the one where I based the Tyrannic Raiders off of it. Is that the one you're referring to, Mortanus? When I was babbling about that bullshit. Uh, I'm just going to try and sell as many resources as possible to get our energy back on track. Oh man, we have a lot of moats. Let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of crystals. And we have quite a bit of dark matter, so let's get rid of that. All right, we're A-OK -okay on energy. We have a crap load. Um, how are we doing here, anyways? Well, they haven't moved on past the soul system, which is a good sign. Yep. Um, yeah, like I said, dude, it's, ca it's called Homeworld. Uh, it's, it's a real-time strategy game. It's based in space. Um, uh, you, you, like I said, you take your... Uh, you take what's called your, your species mothership... And you use it to travel across the galaxy, and there's all sorts of surprises and dangers that await you along the way. Um, it had, uh, it so far had two sequels. There was uh, Homeworld 2 in the early 2000s at some point, but there was also Homeworld Cataclysm, which was recently renamed and re-released as Homeworld Emergence, which reminds me, I bought that off of GOG uh, j just a couple months ago when it was first made available uh, and downloaded it, but I haven't played it yet. I've heard from uh, long-time Homeworld players and, home and fans of the Homeworld series, that Cataclysm, they feel, is easily the best of the batch. But I haven't played it yet. Uh, not Earth. We need to do some resettling. Let's move them to We Are Fubard. Well, oh, we can't do that. All right. This is a recurring problem. We have so many pops, but it's like, oh, you can't resettle because then you'll lose a building. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, we have low stability on not mine earth. Really now? Oh, because we're negative 20 on amenities. That could be a problem. Uh, hello? Why are you abandoning all those clerk jobs? Uh, that's not going to fix it, though. That's still negative 13. Holy shit. Uh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Hyper entertainment forms. What does this cost? This is exotic gases twitch was in and out oh no problem buddy like i said look it up it's uh the first home world is a little over 20 years old by this point but it's a fantastic game um they did they did a sounds like something i could get into yes it as i as i said several times it's real-time strategy um and it, it's it's far more like military based uh, because, as I said, it's real-time strategy. You do still have to, like, collect resources and stuff like that and, and use them to uh, construct the various ships that would uh, best suit your situation. But there's a large variety of ships in uh, in all Research the games, really. Concluded. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Yeah, like, the, fir the, first, uh, the first game alone... Construction project um, concluded. You have multiple classes of ships. You have your fighters, which are, like, your fast one-man ships... Uh, your Corvettes, which are, you know, they have a small crew, uh, bigger, uh, still pretty quick. Um, and you have various kinds of, of all these as well. So, like, for fighters, you can have, like, scouts or interceptors or plasma bombers or defenders or, like, a decent-sized list of ships in each class. And then Corvettes, you can have your heavy Corvettes, your light Corvettes, your repair Corvettes, your salvage Corvettes, which can steal enemy ships and put them under your control. 
Uh, what else is there? Multi-gun Corvettes. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And then the next up, you start to get to your capital Railing ships, like your, your frigates. Um, and then you can have things like your plain old assault frigates, which are uh, pretty cool. Complete. And then you also have your ion cannon frigates, which have a giant-ass laser beam. And, uh, you know, support frigate. Um, what else? You have, like, drone frigate. A uh, couple interesting combinations and stuff like that. And then you move on to even bigger ships, which are called your super capital ships. And you got, like, you have, like, destroyers, missile destroyers, and the big bad one, the heavy cruiser. And then, of course, you also have a carrier, which is, like, a smaller mother ship. It can also build ships, but not the really, really big destroyers and stuff like that. It can build, you know, fighters, corvettes, and frigates, and that's about it. But it's, uh, you can cheese with salvage corvettes. Don't give away the secret just yet, JB. Let him let him go get the game first and play it, and then we tell him about cheesing it. <laughs> um, let me see here. What else do I need to build? Ah, uh, man. I don't know what to get here. We have hollow theaters already, so we're kosher there. Maybe precinct houses. Eh, I'm not so sure about that. Do, 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 do. Definitely don't want gene clinics. Let's just do an Autochthon monument. Fuck it. Concluded. Nothing like space always gets me. Yeah, dude, I'm a big sucker. If it's a space game, I'm kind of a sucker for it if it's a space game. You know what I have... My apologies, sometimes I cannot control the tips. <laughs> Initial colonization exactly. Phase complete. There we go. Let's uh, construct a few generator districts and a few housing dis uh, city districts, excuse me. Let's start resettling some pops. Ruined. Yeah, baby, another not Earth. You've got two unemployed pops. Uh, there we go, resettle you. How about, uh, nope, not Earth. Holy crap, you have 15 unemployed pops. We're going to fix that. Uh, da, 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 da. This is a really bad idea to do it so early when you have like no jobs available, but it's all good. Okay, there we go. Now, delicious. How many? <gasps> Wait, what? Did I? Where did I resettle them? Ah, oh, shit! I fucked up. I fucked up. Son of a bitch. Was not paying attention. Project concluded. Okay, resettle, 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 resettle. Do 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 do. Okay. Ultra Rochoid. <laughs> oh, I love it. There we go. Now we have low stability on delicious because we are just fucking things up. All right, let's get rid of these generator districts and city districts. Oh man, we are way low on housing. Holy crap. That's not good. Need to get a hollow theaters online. We need to get a uh, precinct. Precinct houses. Ruin a cat. What's going on, buddy? Thanks for coming by tonight. Appreciate it. Going to be streaming for about another hour here uh, whilst everything just continues to burn around us <laughs> with the contingency uh, crapping all over us and everybody else in the galaxy. Good times. All right, let's get a couple more de uh, generator districts here. Jeez, we've jumped. We we have jumped into the double digits on um, building status Ruined. on viewers. I wonder why that happened. Did somebody give me a little signal boost tonight? I should uh, log into Twitch really quick and find out. Oh boy, there we go. We are losing buildings left and right because we have a bunch of uh, planets that are being bombarded. Earth is completely taken over by the contingency, which is always awesome. Let's do a quick thingamabobber here. But anyway, so yeah, that that was the that was the premise behind uh, this game was we're we're a pacifist. Uh, and we are every like all of our not just pacifists but our ethos are the polar opposite of other empires that I've spawned that I force spawned custom empires that I force spawned in the galaxy. But like I said, I don't know how I fucked that up. I must have not selected it to force spawn it. But we were supposed to get the Krogan clans and not the Shazerak colonel. So as soon as we found the Shazerak colonel, I was like, what the hell did I do wrong? So I felt a little stupid. Um, and the other thing too was. Uh, I I can't remember. 
that that was kind of the gimmick this time around. And then it's just as things as things dragged on, when it was like, you know, if I do this, things bad, something bad could happen, like opening up the L gate. It's like, uh, things are going badly, but hey, let's let's see if we can make things worse. Why not? <laughs> Because, like I said, we uh, awakened the Prakikiti, we released the Great Tempest, we had the Fallen Empire next to us awaken, and, uh, you know, we probably had a part to play in the contingency turning up. Excuse me. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Um, stability's uh, kind of getting back to normal here. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I, j I just said screw it. Let's let's see how badly we can mess this whole playthrough up. So it's it's just been like uh, like Mortanus said, it's been one kick in the nuts after another, and it's actually been kind of fun. <laughs> uh, for size fourteen Arctic roll, really? Uh, we can probably just make use of that. Do we have terraforming gases active? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are you, terraforming gases? There we go. One hundred and twenty-six gas. Not too bad. Might not even get time to colonize that tonight, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, ideas for our next stream game, if there's some kind of a theme, or if I just, you know, do whatever. I'm all ears. Uh, if you're part of the Discord, that's the best place to give me suggestions. This is fine, yeah, exactly. Uh, just means you can do a Krogan playthrough. I think I might have deleted the Empire already. I'll have to double check. Are you, are you Planet Express? I noticed something on console. Pacifist, spiritualist can still declare Building Crusades. Status. Ruined. Um, Construction project concluded. Do, 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 hang on a second. Pacifist spiritualists can still declare crusades. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see here. Marauder clans. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm in defensive packs with all these people. Declare war and threat containment. Uh, so that's not a good, that's not a good example. Where's the Minbari? Hello. Uh, declare war. Impose ideology. Uh, war is waged to force one's ethos and government form on the enemy. Is that is that what you're referring to? Where you go to, uh, where you have an ideology war? Because, uh, I'm yeah, I'm fa I'm fairly certain that that's doable on various etho on various axes of the ethos. If you're the exact opposite in. Uh, like authoritarian, egalitarian, for example. Institute the increased benefits on delicious. Rising unemployment on delicious. That's always awesome. <laughs> Crusades. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, that's actually, that actually simplifies it. I, I never really considered them... Um, in my mind's eye, I never really thought of them as crusades. Um, I like that. <laughs> okay, uh, so what else can we construct here? We can't do it. There's no point in doing a mineral purification planet because that's stupid. I'm not seeing it for anything but spiritualist. Um, do, 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 do. Hang on, alloy foundries or talk then. Oh, theaters. Oh, man, I don't know what the hell else we can build here to uh, really be of much use. Man, I keep scratching my head, and I forget that I shaved my head this last week, and this is going to get... This is going to take some getting used to. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do we build here? I've already got the robot plant. Um, I don't know. I really need something to help out with energy, but... Pfft. All I can do is create an energy grid to, grid to give us one technician. Woohoo! <laughs> I normally play authoritarian. I mean, I don't see why not. Life is good with slaves. Okay, they're coming through the other wormhole. The Aphris wormhole. Oh, this is looking fantastic. They're right next to our, our ring world, and... Our, uh, what's it called? Century Array, that's what it is. <laughs> can't believe I forgot what it was called. Come on, Moby, stop being so stupid. I can't help it. Leave me alone. All right, let's do another residential arcology. I don't know what the hell else to build here. I really don't. 
Get rid of a few of these. I shave mine shiny every three days. You get used to it. Yeah, but I don't plan to. I just did it the one time because I got sick of being like three months overdue for a haircut. Seriously, that's the longest I've had my hair in over a decade. Probably since I had a mullet in school some fucking 20 years ago or something. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I just said F it. I grabbed, I grabbed my trimmer, which I normally use for my face. In incoming Shantari raid, eh? Okay. Intercepted communications indicate that they have been hired by a rivaling foreign power to attack our systems. Okay. They are transmitting a message directed towards us. Uh, okay. Whatever, dude. Bring it on. You ain't shit. Raiding fleet destroyed. <laughs> Oh, uh, they showed up in his system with a contingency fleet and got absolutely blasted. I'm balding, so said fuck it. Yeah, that's very common. Like, pretty much all the uh, other dudes uh, at my work who shave their heads is because they are balding or have gone bald. Like, the the one guy, uh, you can see he no longer has hair follicles anywhere on the top of his head. Like, the sides and the back, yeah, he does. And he's only like 40 or something like that. I don't have that problem. I still got it like a full head of hair. It has uh, receded a bit, and I've got a nice widow's peak now, but still. I got, a, I got a full head of hair. I don't think you placed the Galactic Stock Exchange. I don't think I did. Uh, nah, 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 nah. And my glorious five-year-old beard. Yeah, I can't yeah, grow a beard. The longest I w went growing a beard... Uh, the longest I went growing a beard is uh, three months. It got super duper itchy. Now let's do some peace festivals, shall we? Diplomatic grants increases trust growth and trade attractiveness. Oh, joy. One sec. Oh, sorry. Had a big cough building up. Um, what else can we do? Masters, teachings, warring states. Eh. Yeah, let's do improved energy initiative. Sure, why not? I grew a beard for three months uh, shortly after high school. I can't grow a beard. I'm a little envious of the, the folks uh, that could grow a nice, uh, long, luxurious beard and have it look awesome. Uh, because I'm a natural included. redhead, mine just gets all super duper curly and thick and uh, grows back in on my face and gets extremely itchy. <laughs> it's kind of gross. A few months in and in, out does get itchy AF. It's your skin getting used to it. Uh, I mean, I suppose that's fair, but I, I, like, I couldn't stand it, so I just got rid of it. The neutron sweep kills synthetic pops for some reason. Uh, it's, that is actually quite normal. Um, I forget what the wording it says is, but it's, it's something about, uh, it's something about wipe, also wiping out the neural network, uh, established with the robots. Um, I do believe. I can't remember what the hell the wording is. The three largest empires in my game are in a federation with one of the smallest. Seems legit. I get it. Yeah, I figured you would, JB. I mean, you probably had a similar thing happen when uh, you were younger and trying to grow beards. Why? I still have an unemployed specialist here. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. We should have an available governor, which we do. Eh, there you go. You're, you're available. What the? What? What just happened? Assign the leader. Dang it. There. Okay. Boop. What the? Okay. This is strange. Okay. Thing. Weird things are occurring. I cannot assign a governor. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, I was in college and lazy as shit, so I just worked through it. <laughs> now the wife brushes and scratches it. Yeah. Okay. More power to you, I guess. Uh, Barbagon. Why do we have so many minerals available? I can't see. We have all these areas where it's like, man, we could really up our minerals output, but it's building stations, so our energy would still go in the shitter. <laughs> and we're at negative four, and we're like nearly negative 500 energy right now, which is fan fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> 
buildings. Good times. I'm the largest Ooh. empire in the game. I I should expect that. I find that uh, it's not that difficult to g to gain a, a, a superiority over the AI in uh, in single player games. I really don't find that difficult. What I what I go for when I play the games now is I'm like, ooh, substance abusers there. That's not good. Giovanni Pizza Pizzaglia, <laughs> Pizzaglia. <laughs> um. What I go for when I'm playing the game uh, nowadays is it's not like ah oh, okay I want to. Uh, sometimes it's like okay I want to I want to try to build up a military super early and go to war with other people and beat them up with like destroyers or something like that. But for the most part, it's like I want to get to the end game and face off against the fallen empires or an awakened empire or more importantly, the endgame crisis. I want, I want to stare them down, punch them in the face, and kick them the fuck out of our galaxy. Um, that's what I that's what I play for. Because getting ahead of the basic AI in a single player game, I don't find it that difficult. Especially not anymore. <sighs> Excuse me, big yawn. Jeez, I'm tired. There are currently two empires left in the game, Research one of which is a robot included. uprising. Contingency is the robot crisis. Yeah, right? I mean, technically, yeah, because it replaced the um, the actual robot uprising. Uh, or, I guess, it, what was it called? The, the AI Rebellion. That's what it was. Because um, the old AI Rebellion was exactly... Kind of like the current Machine Rebellion from the Synthetic Dawn, where... Uh, except some uh, some hostile, a small hostile AI empire spawns and takes control of like a single planet in, uh, in, in a single system, and then it just like insta spawns uh, a fleet. But it was so comically weak in the old game. It would be like a thirty thousand fleet power fleet or some crap like that. And this was in a time where you could have a single fleet with four hundred battleships that could just fly over there and annihilate them in a single volley of uh, XL weapons. So it was it was comically bad, um, so that it has been replaced by the by the contingency. The contingency is actually really really cool. Uh, the uh, events leading up to them showing up is pretty neat. I do like it. What difficulty are on? I always play on Grand Admiral, dude. Nothing less than Grand Ad Grand Admiral. I don't see any reason to lower the difficulty. So, are we about the same fucked, more fucked, or less fucked than last time? Uh, considering that the contingency is absolutely annihilating our planet systematically, uh, we have lost, let's see, uh, one, uh, one major star system, two major star systems, actually, because we lost the soul system, as a matter of fact. Uh, we have lost our home world of Earth. Uh, I would say we are more fucked than the previous time we were fucked. <laughs> Geometry Wars. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I suppose you could say that. Like, take a look at these ships. It's basically a bunch of, uh, uh, what are these? Um, tetrahedrons? No. Uh, well, tetrahedrons are, uh, hang on. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, where is Sterilization Hub 004? Hello. So, uh, these are basic, like, the their ship design is actually super duper unique, I think. And their stations are just a shitload of pyramids uh, put together, uh, forming a giant ass hedron. Uh, so, you've got their smaller ships, which are, uh, like,. Kind of about the shape of a small Dyson sphere with pyramids sticking out in various points. Pretty cool ship design. Spiky balls, yeah, basically. <laughs> Spiky balls sounds like a condition you should see your doctor about, really. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Our fleets are going to battle again! This is not going to go well. Evade! Escape! Oh, man. And we have probably lost our Titan. Yep, Titan is gone. That is officially the end of our military force. <laughs> I'm still fairly new to the game. I think my current save is Ensign. The 
Capacity overload, production targets, and farming subsidies edicts have all ended. That's awesome. Not really. <laughs> well, I don't care for farming subsidies, but we definitely want capacity overload and production targets again. Oh, boy. Yeah, I pretty much only play on Grand Admiral with the Crisis modifier cranked all the way up to 5x uh, these days. <laughs> Excuse me. Because um, I find that to... Construction for me, complete. it's kind of the most fun. Like I said, I try to take on the endgame crisis. That's Building my goal uh, yeah. whenever I play Stellaris Console Edition. Is I'm, I want to give the endgame crisis a, a real good stand-up fight. Um, so I always play on I, I always play on Grand Admiral to try to get the AI to offer me a challenge leading up to the crisis because the AI, let's face it the AI is still stupid uh, even even with the production bonuses and stuff like that that they get on the higher difficulties it doesn't matter all that much because they do really stupid things every time they have alloys available. Uh, or I should say minerals available. It's like, oh, build more alloy foundries. And then they have a lot of alloys, so they just keep colonizing worlds uh, despite not having the correct amount of consumer goods or foods uh, or food uh, amounts of food to uh, support their um, population, support their infrastructure and all that jazz. So, um, you know, their, their economy will still be in the shitter despite having production bonuses. And they keep building... They keep building more ships. <laughs> Lost to bureaucracy. Due to a major clerical error, parts of Delicious has fallen behind in infrastructure maintenance and accommodation services. The people live in rather bleak conditions and will not tolerate it for long. Remedying these problems will cost us time and effort. So this adds sprawling slums and, ind and industrial wasteland to, de to Delicious. Are you freaking cereal? Why? Here on Gish, we have a lot of unemployed pops. All right, so let's resettle. Come on. Come on, resettle, resettle, resettle. Got to go all the way back up the list. Yeah. Construction project concluded. All right, let's close that. All right. Come on. And it, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it, and where is it? Delicious. There we go. Okay, resettle some pops. Boop, 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 boop. I can't grow a beard, not really. It won't get very long, so between that and the MPB, I can't grow hair very good. I'm not sure what MPB is. You're going to have to clarify that for me. The hair on my head is really thin is really thin, thing and fine. Get in where you fit in. <laughs> okay, so delicious. We need to get rid of those planetary features because... Mandate unfulfilled. I really don't care at this point. All right, we need another city district. That's going to take longer to do, but it's okay. And then we'll get a few more generator districts. Ring worlds are like like they used to be good, but they're now even better. My only gripe about ring like they they turn they can turn your empire into an energy credit powerhouse, and I really like that about them now. Um, Whereas before, they were all about cranking out a crap load of minerals. Now, um, now it's uh, not necessarily the case. Male pattern baldness. Baldness. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I need to look that up. That's like the third time I've heard that term in the last two days. <laughs> I have an idea of what it is, but it's like, eh, I should look it up just to be clear. Um, we're going to need more generator districts. Do do do. And then another city district. Get some more housing. Um, yeah, we're looking we're looking okay. About 40 minutes left in this stream. Did we reelect the same guy? Yeah, we did. Battleship focus. Beautiful. So yeah, we're getting we're getting absolutely slaughtered by the contingency. It's a slow burn, but they are making their way uh, through our systems and just eating us alive. Good times. I'm going to restrict this system. Boop. There we go. System restricted. So now you can see that the name has changed to red. That's super duper handy. You don't have to worry about uh, manually all ordering, ordering all of your day. ships to avoid uh, that system anymore uh, because of the dangers within it. All of your ships will avoid it hands down, which is super duper handy. 
Jesus, I just started my first playthrough. Seeing it like this seems nuts. <laughs> How you doing, Sarthro? Thanks for coming by tonight, bud. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're well, you missed it earlier, but things really went in the shitter several times. So we're, we're Planet Express. We were a, uh, a peaceful human species that was just trying to uh, expand its uh, delivery courier service throughout the galaxy and make friends with everybody. But I force spawned a couple uh, custom-made alien empires uh, based off of uh, species and other sci-fi franchises that I knew of, either off of TV or movies or like video games, that kind of stuff. Um, ground forces. And I was intentionally making them like dangerous, such as uh, the Arachnids are devouring swarm, and then we've got the replicators, which are driven assimilators, uh, or just the opposite ideologies, like militarist or spiritualist, because we are pacifist and materialist, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but what's happened is nev never mind that the fact that uh, all of the other empires disliked me from the get go, but. Um, the, the first real the first real big mistake was uh, awakening the Prakikiti, which are fanatic purifiers, the cute little geckos that turn into fanatic purifiers and go to exterminate the rest of the galaxy. Uh, that was the biggest, the first of many, but the easily the biggest mistake uh, in this entire playthrough because they came back with a like I tried to exterminate them before they became a problem but I wasn't quick enough and they had a fleet that rivaled ours and they actually beat us in the first set of battles and uh, then they just went on a rampage and we lost control of half of our empire we had to fight tooth and nail to get it all back and we finally wiped out the Perkikiti um, right at the same time that the Tajel uh, regulators, which are now pretty much down to nothing, they awakened, and I opened up the L gate to the L cluster, <laughs> and the Great Tempest came through. <laughs> so it was good times. <laughs> this is super hard mode for consoles, yeah, I suppose. Not, not, eh. I wouldn't say it's super hard mode, more more like roadblocks everywhere. And before, so every like every time I was on the verge of recovering economically and uh, getting things under control and being able to get back on track with uh, becoming the courier super, the galactic courier superpower that I was hoping for us to be, uh, we would just get stomped by something and just you know roadblock after roadblock. Uh, I keep forgetting that the Tajel regulators have a crap load of space over here that they took from both the Arachnids and the Minbari. Uh, so they're still very much uh, in the fight, kind of, sort of. But we kind of blobbed in this same area, and we had a nice sector of space all to ourselves in the galaxy, but uh, that was also kind of a, a, down th a downside for us. So Most of that was like German to me, but I think I understand. I'm still learning on PS4. Uh... Well, I mean, I've got, I've got my YouTube channel, and it's largely dedicated. Well, I shouldn't say dedicated. That might not be the right term. Um, I have a lot of videos on it to try and help you understand the game. Uh, basically, what that meant was... Uh, div so there's, there's, a, there's a couple really special types of empires, uh, depending on a specific civic that you choose when you create the empire. And when you start with that civic, it's locked in. You can't change it. Um, so Devouring Swarm is a hive mind empire whose sole Building purpose is status. to expand, expand throughout the galaxy and eat everybody. Like, they see every other organic empire as food. Uh, driven assimilators are a machine Sigil empire. Sigil They're basically included. the Borg. They want to assimilate everybody and integrate them into their empire and make everybody, uh, make everybody join their uh, machine hive. Um, and then the other one that I mentioned with the Prakiki T, there's a special event where you find a curious shielded world, and uh, the how the anomaly goes is if you, depending on which option you choose, there's some kind of a weird time loop going on, and you can choose to interrupt the loop. And when you do that, it actually spawns what's called a fanatic purifier, which is a species or sorry, it's an empire that 
absolutely despises every other organic species in the galaxy and seeks to purify it by wiping everybody else out. So that's what the Prakikiti is. When you do this special Shielded World event, you spawn a Fanatic Purifier. And they can they can spawn in your special borders. <laughs> Good times. Oh, hello. The Synthetic Age. At last, the flesh cages that imprisoned us have been purged. And the neural patterns of our citizens have all been uploaded into new synthetic units. Disease, aging, and all the other wellsprings of misery associated with an organic existence are now a thing of the past. Future historians will no doubt refer to this as the beginning of a new age for our civilization and perhaps for the entire galaxy. Since we have shed our former organic identity, it is only appropriate that we come up with a new name for our improved synthetic forms. Okay, so we gain access to the Assimilation Citizenship Species Rights, allowing future editions of the populace to be turned into synths. So we can totally do that. Um, yes, I am on Xbox, Runa Cat. Um, so anyways, yeah, we, we literally had a extremely hostile and equivalently powerful empire spawn right in the middle of our empire and they immediately went to war with us pretty much that yours was a depraved species was not unknown to us but your latest act of insanity has surpassed even our darkest fears making imperfect copies of your brains and plugging them into mobile synthetic containers is not the same as transferring your essence into a new body for such a thing cannot be done your souls are lost forever do you even realize the enormity of your mistake? Destroying the bodies you were gifted with at birth was nothing less than the collective suicide of your entire species. There is truly no hope for you now. Eh, ah, superstitious fools. Yep, that's the Mimbari getting pissed off at us because they're spiritualists. <laughs> now we are truly ascended. Human Claris Stuperior. Hello there. I kind of closed the thing off to uh, prevent us from... Uh, uh, choosing what we look like and stuff. Okay, so we're going to need to change our citizenship for all of these other species to uh, uh, assimilation. <laughs> Here we go. Pops of this species are altered over time to better match the dominant species of the Empire. Pops that are in the, present, in the process of being assimilated will not produce any resources. Ooh. Uh, we will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Maybe we'll just leave them as full citizenship then, because if we do that, then all of these uh, refugees that we've gotten, which is a fair bit, uh, not a hell of a lot, but a fair bit, uh, they are not producing resources. I got the company. good eyes in my family and the bad hair, which sucks. <laughs> hey, at least I don't have to wear glasses. Yes, I'm on Xbox. Uh, Runicat, I sell glasses. I made difficulty choices in creating your galaxy. I suppose that's true, Mortanus. Uh, Birum Station, we finished a construction ship. There's a colony ship flying off to colonize the next section of our ring world. Very good. Uh, oh, nice. I've been looking for some guys. Yeah, just search Mobius Y on YouTube, buddy. You'll find me, no problem. And I upload all of my streams. Uh, I upload them unedited as well. So if you want to stay caught up with what I'm doing in my stream games, you can check those out. And I put them all in a, in a playlist. Uh, I've got three playlists. There's Let's Play Stellaris Console, which is just me uploading my stream games. Uh, the tips and strategies are, are things where I just more kind of go off on a tangent about stuff than anything else. But I do talk about ID like it's more um, it's more the ideas that you can behind uh, certain things. The things that the things that you can come up with. And those are more that's more stuff that I uh, base off of my opinion. Uh, as well, and then there's the Stellaris mechanics, which I explain how things work in the game. They can also nuke themselves. It's the yeah, other it option does. for the shielded world. Really? Yes, this is true, but I didn't go with that. Have you had problems with the game crashing late game? Uh, not really, and I've got a pretty late uh, save on my current Iron Man game. Um, oh, hello. The enigmatic, enigmatic cache is here, scanning my planet. Hello. All right, last ditch. Let's take a look at what's going on here. D did we do the mastery of nature? No. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we need to... Oh, I need Research more specialists. Included. Let's just do some... Let's just do some alloy foundries here. Oh, my God. Now we're losing minerals. <laughs> oh, this is going great. All right, let's get a couple generator districts and a few mining districts. 
Um, default default rights will be quickest then. Yeah. All right, let's do flash coolant five. We can move on to focusing arrays. So does that mean since your synths, the contingency signal signal shall consume you, you all? Um, no, I believe that event only occurs if you start off as machine empires. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Colossus project. Ooh, hello. Cloud study. And we boy pacification. Drone study. Submerged cruiser. Uh, contingency. Yeah, there's no there's no thing for the ghost signal. So the ghost signal only is it is unless of course if you synthetically ascend before the contingency shows up. I don't know. That's these are like very specific requirements to uh, test this stuff out. Um, but seeing as how it didn't it hasn't kicked in now, I'm gonna say eh. Scum and villainy on another not Earth. So we've got some crime and a criminal job. Uh-oh. Well, this place is being bombed to crap. Everybody is an undesirable right now. They're being purged, so whatever. Project concluded. Um, he will assimilate them all, yep. It doesn't apply to races already in your empire. Uh, right, so as he conquers others, he will assimilate them, freeing him from doing it every new time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but, 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 there we go. Yeah, this game seems like it has a lot of layers, places for opinions and personal preferences. Well, it's going to be fun to learn. Um, definitely, there there are there are absolutely some hard facts. Like, uh, you know, for example, let's take a look at the ascension perks. Uh, really, right now, the best two ascension perks to get in the early game Research are completed. technological ascendancy and mastery of nature. Those are just hard facts. Um, most everything else is really not that good. Uh, comparatively speaking. Um, so when we take a look at them, uh, one that I've seen a couple people mention they like to get is Executive Vigor. It's okay. It increases the duration of your edicts, which are empire-wide bonuses for by 50%. Normally, they last 10 years. So making them last 15 years instead of just 10, that's actually pretty decent. Not great, but pretty decent. Um, then you've also got, like, Transcendent Learning, which really is not that good. Uh, increases your lead level cap by two, and they gain experience 50% faster. It's it's all right. It's not that good, though. Um, World Shaper is uh, is okay. It's not it's not too bad. It's, a, it's an okay pick, Research especially if you're going to terraform a lot. Um, but the alternatives as a Hive Mind or a Machine Empire are way better. That's Hive Worlds and Machine Worlds. Those are far more powerful than a Gaia, a Gaia world. Then, then you just have straight up bad ones like uh, Interstellar Dominion, ain't really that great. Starbase influence cost and claim influence cost. This this helps you to expand because building star bases to expand your borders costs influence. Um, ooh, Tajel refugees arrive. They are welcome here. Um, it's yeah. Bottom line, it's really just System not good. Concluded at all nano circuit assembly there's still engineering techs we haven't done holy crap um and it's it, like it's it's not a terrible pick but it's not a good it's nowhere near a good one then you have extremely bad ones like grasp the void which increases your star base capacity by by plus five awful ascension yeah, perk guys. And then we have Imperial Prerogative, which increases your administrative capacity by plus 30. Awful Ascension perk, stuff like that. Um, like th those are just those are just hard facts. The stuff that, uh, for example, technological ascendancy and mastery of nature for can do for you, is significantly more uh, than what any of those other ones I listed could do. Uh, let's see. I don't Research think I'm that movie. high, at least. <laughs> I have a crash every five to ten years, but I'm uh, but I'm on a standard Xbox One, so that might be the problem. I'm planning on upgrading to next gen soon. Well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it, it's been shown that the stability and the performance on the next gen consoles is significantly better. Uh, on like obviously, I think we all knew that was going to happen. Anyways, let's get replicator kiosks um, because they're just more powerful machines. Um, the late game time goes by faster. The game loads faster. It's pro it probably has way less crashing issues late game. Um, I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have like a new Xbox. I believe this is like an Xbox one S or something like that. It's the, it's the white one. 
uh, which came out much later. And it's really old. It's, it's not that old. I only got it about three years ago, sometime after I got my PS4. Because I gave away my original Xbox. I was using my original Xbox One as a... Uh, uh, for hosting a dedicated server on Ark Survival Evolved, like Joe, Joe is in chat. He can vouch for this. Um, I was I was using it to permanently host a de a private dedicated server on Ark Survival Evolved, but I had so many problems with my internet connection all the damn time that it just wound up being a pain in the ass. Uh, so I gave up on using it, and I gave it to a guy I know at work, and, and I just said, "Here, this is this is." Uh, this is considered my home console, so any games I buy and down that I purchase and download to this to the one I have at home, he can do the same if he wants to try them out on on the one that he has. I just said, here you go, free of charge, no problem. Um, but I my current game is in like year twenty six hundred, and I have like forty planets and some three thousand pops or something crazy like that. Uh, we could take a look at it before the end of tonight's stream. Uh oh, ooh, that was a big, that was a big pause. That's the other thing too, is monthly, like late game, the monthly pauses with all the calculations being run, um, especially in an Iron Man game when it's saving and when it auto saves every year, as I have it set, it's, it's a big in-game pause, and, that, and I get worried whenever it happens. Um, let's see, okay, nothing's happening there. How about this guy? Is he moving around? No, he's not doing jack shit. These guys are starting to move into the other areas. Oh, this is an upgraded starbase, but it's a trade hub, so it ain't going to do shit in terms of defending this system. <laughs> Good times. But we've got a... Uh, what is this? This is a bastion, but we have no defense platforms on it, so that's not good. That's going to go down fast. Oh, well, whatever. Um, it seems like a lot, and it is, but once you get started, give it a bit, and you find yourself moving through the outliner like this normally. Yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm speeding through things super duper quick. Uh, I totally understand that. Uh, and it's a lot harder for newer players to follow along. I've, I'm not joking. I've had that complaint to me um, from people trying to watch my stuff. We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. Today, we're drawing the line. Suck my synthetic balls. <laughs> That's my answer to that. Um, the, yeah, like I said, the best things to watch are my tips and strategies videos and uh, my mechanics videos. I go through things way more slowly uh, and, and I explain what I'm doing so that it's much easier for, uh, especially for newer players, to follow along with what I'm doing. Crime Wave on another not Earth. Oh, goody. The world that is being purged is experiencing crime. Who cares? <laughs> They're all dying anyways. Um, my edicts last 30 plus years without that perk. I mean, you can do that. Um, what's the tech? Hang on. Select research. Uh, proclamation broadcasts. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it infinite copies of proclamation broadcasts uh, to make your edicts last a, an extremely long time. Which is fine. I mean, like, what else are you going to do with them, right? Uh, we have one unemployed specialist here? Really? Why? Uh... We're going to have to do a civilian industries, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe just an exotic gas refinery, eh? Yeah, we can do that. There we go. Put a lot of time into edict research. Yeah, exactly. A spec, I think, might have been Stefan. Did a tier list for all the Ascension perks in 2.7. Yeah, he did. Um... And I did one earlier, but I need I need to re-up mine for console edition. Um, Stefan and on has done tier lists for everything. Um, he's got them for uh, Empire Civics. He's got them for uh, Ascension perks and what was the other one? Species traits. That's the other one. But that's that's like when you want to min max when you when you want to start getting into like min maxing and stuff like that. If you're more of a min max player, which I will admit I am, uh, I like you know, I like trying to maximize the uh, what's it called the resource output of uh, of my empires like as quickly as possible. Um, not as much into the role playing, but the role playing aspect of Stellaris is still extremely fun. Uh, if you really get into it, my my issue is that I have I have a lot more difficulty getting into 
uh, role uh, role playing in any video game. Never mind, not just Stellaris, but in any video game. Like when I'm playing Skyrim, it's difficult for me to stick with. Okay, this character is supposed to use just fire magic and uh, daggers and uh, you know stuff like that. It's very difficult for me to stick with that, but uh, I could do it sometimes. I just have to constant. I just have to consciously remind myself. Excuse me. Uh, about it repeatedly. Okay, so ambition, architectural renaissance, need to re-up that. Scientific revolution, need to re-up that. And research grants, need to re-up that. Uh, where do we go? Ambition, scientific revolution, and ambition, architectural renaissance. There we go. Got it. Is 230 the highest you can get fleet cap? Uh, yes. Because um, two... Uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two fifty, but that's with uh, that's with galactic force projection, which is a shit ascension perk, anyways. Um, yes, you're correct, Razor. Thank you. Uh, Two fifty is is the highest. No, no, he means fleet. He means uh, uh, fleet command limit, not naval capacity. Fleet command limit. The maximum you can have your fleet command limit is uh, two fifty. So you get. Uh, let's hang on. Let's take a quick look. See here. Um, fleet commit. Is there a way to check it? Damn, I don't think so. Um, shit, I wish there was a way to uh, look at fleet command limit. Huh. Well, that sucks. Uh, okay. So, uh, it's mostly the, it's mostly texts that increase that. Let's go to researched. And we'll go down this through the society text. I got to go way down for this crap. But uh, here's an example. Uh, you've got tier four. This is fluid fleet templates and an armada battle formation. There's five levels of this. They're non-repeatables, and each one increases your fleet command limit by twenty. Normally, it starts off at like what a hundred or something like that. So, uh, or is it a hundred? I think it's less than 100. Um, so you have five of those. Um, do, 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 do. You have five of those. That increases it by 100. And then you also have... Uh, what the hell was that? Fleet liaisons? That's another one. Uh, that's naval capacity, though. So that doesn't count. So fuck that. Um... I'm pretty sure your naval cap starts off at like 80. Um, and then you've got... Uh, like I said, you've got like those fluid fleet templates. That gives you another 100, so 180. And then when you get to repeatables, there's only five copies of the of Admiralty support staff. And then it's done. It doesn't show up anymore. So you get... And each one of those gives you another plus 10. So that gives you uh, 230. Uh, and then with Galactic Forks Projection, you get another 20 Fleet Command Limit. So the maximum possible is 250. How, if you want to, you know, try to get the biggest fleet possible, uh, go for it. However, me personally, I never recommend picking Galactic Forks Projection anymore. It used to be awesome when it added, what was it, plus 300 naval capacity. Like, that was pretty awesome. But now it only adds plus 80 to naval capacity and plus 20 to Fleet Command Limit. That's like two battleships per fleet. That's it. Um, which is sweet fuck all. Um, and only 80 naval capacity, which might be enough to push you ahead to be able to add another Titan to your fleets, but it, it's just not good anymore. Um, so th those are really the only ways that you increase your, uh, your fleet command limit. Um... But it's basically to stop you from doom stacking, which was the old school way where you would have one fleet and it would be one giant fleet of like 100, 150, and then later 250, and then later 1,000 battleships, that kind of thing. Um, it's in the fleet manager. Each fleet says how high your fleet is. Yes, but there, uh, what I mean is you, when you can select uh, up here and you go to your naval capacity, it shows you everything that is increasing it and the value that they are increasing it by. So, for example, we've got Doctrine Fleet Support, Support Vessels, Interstellar Logistics, and Fleet Liaisons, which are the technologies, the non-repeatable technologies to increase your fleet cap. And then we've got Fleet Management Procedures, which is the repeatable that we got five copies of. we got plus 42 naval cap from Pop Jobs, plus 36 from Starbases. And, of course, we have the 
um, Fleet Logistics Corps, uh, which is a not a technology. I'm pretty sure that's a tradition. Hang on. Fleet Logistics Corps. Yeah, here it is. Uh, naval capacity increased by 20%. But there's nothing, as far as I could tell, there's nothing like this in Fleet Manager showing your... Um, uh, showing your um, fleet command limit, like it shows it shows your fleet command limit, but it doesn't it doesn't show why it doesn't show the details as to what is giving you that amount, is what I was getting at. Uh, ship tech sh starts out at twenty. What? Distinguished admiralty gives another ten. Yes, so two sixty. Uh, so the limit's two sixty then of uh, fleet command limit. Are you sure it starts at a 20? That seems a little small. Because that's like... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, 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 you're right. Because, uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to unpause the game. Let's just keep it, keep the timer running. Um, let's see. We need to find, like, cruisers or battleships or something. Oh, Titans, hello. Yeah, 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 you're right. I forgot about the ship techs themselves. Those increase your fleet command limit by, like, 10 each. Um, the star bases do not. Battleships, another, another plus 10. So with destroyers, Building cruisers, stars. and battleships, Ruined. that's plus 30 right there. Titans is another plus 10. Um, so yeah, I can't believe I forgot that. Thank you. Excuse me, big sneeze. Oof. Um, da -da 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 -da. let's get rid of these, uh, blockers, because I'm not a fan of them, 20 or 30, 20 Corvettes is a lot in really early game, this is true, oh, my be, yeah, many different ways, I just started a driven assimilator game for the first time, year 2253, you can do diplomacy, but everyone hates you, yeah, <laughs> exactly, um, you can do, you can still do diplomacy as a driven assimilator or rogue servitor, uh, but you know you have you have that negative opinion modifier right off the bat. Um, determined exterminator, you cannot do diplomacy, as we discovered in the last um, the, the last what's it called um, Research stream game. Concluded. That's what I was looking for uh, because we were played as a determined exterminator and we could not engage in diplomacy. Let's get assembly algorithms again. There's, see, the, the thing is now that kind of annoys me is that there's actually a lot of uh, repeatable text now that have a maximum limit. Like, fleet management procedures, you can only get five. Admiralty support staff, you can only get five. And there's one in physics, which is uh, gravitational analysis, you can only get five. Um, like, some of it does make sense, because if you were able to just continually do gravitational System analysis, which reduces the cost of your buildings by 5%, if you could do that indefinitely, or nigh indefinitely, you could make your buildings cost, like, what, 10 minerals? <laughs> which would be kind of overdoing it. And then the other one was, uh, in the society tree... No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, interstellar expansion, you can only get five copies of. Uh, and then it goes away. That increases your starbase capacity uh, by plus one each time. And then the one in engineering is assembly algorithms. Uh, if you could do assembly algorithms ad infinitum, that would be amazing because it, is, it increases planet build speed by plus 10%. So think about having, say, like 25 copies of both assembly algorithms and gravitational analysis. Actually, I don't know if assembly algorithms only has five copies now. I'm second-guessing myself. I could have sworn it only had, you can only do five copies of it. But imagine 25 copies of both assembly algorithms to increase planet build speed and gravitational analysis to reduce the cost of buildings. Cost you 10 minerals to construct a building and it's done in 10 days. <laughs> or any district. That would be amazing. I have a determined exterminator run with a friend who is also determined exterminator. And our federation is called the Ninth Reich. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Only with other machines. Yes. Uh, sorry, that's correct. Uh, determined uh, exterminator can only uh, engage in diplomacy with other machine empires because they hate organics. 
Those poor organics. What did the organics ever do to the determined exterminators? Besides use their orifices for all their own carnal pleasures repeatedly without their uh, cons consent. Well, I shouldn't say without their consent. With the, without their approval is the word I should be, uh, should be using. <laughs> Let's get some civilian industries. Um... I still have my first leader. Oh, fun fact, you can't name your leader after the German dude who started World War II. It censors it. I'm not surprised. There's all sorts of interesting censors. Unless you're using the Iron Sky mod. Hi, Lieutenant Roxo. The game censors its own random generated names sometimes. Yep. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure I've tried to put in, like, Assassin or some crap like that, and it censors it because ass. <laughs> Let's try that. Um, I think it's less about the games. Uh sensor filter and more about the consoles themselves so i'm lit you can't see it but i'm typing in assassin oh uh, apparently that worked okay that's uh uh what's another good one um stitch let's try that mm, okay um trying to come up with name with ones uh it's censored it's censored shatterer shatterer which part of it uh uh well yeah because of chat that makes sense um what was another one that uh it censored on me oh somebody insulted us that's rude do you think we can't see past your flimsy layers of Plastic, uh, plastic skin and poorly phrased platitudes. You are a replica, a helpless jumble of ones and zeros, nothing more. What a jerk. That kind of hurt my feelings. I think I'm going to go cry after this stream. <laughs> Mine doesn't censor anything, really. Uh, there was a really weird one that I tried to uh, name a planet. It was a really stupid, goofy name, but... Uh, I did a double take when it censored it. I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> um, hang on. Uh, let's try... Uh, assembly? No, no, that worked. Okay, we're going to try assessment. There was there was a word I did that System it censored the computer. ass part, and I was like, "What? Oh, oh, okay." Uh, oh, here's one. This this one's brain dead. Um, uh, a, a breast, like beside. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I was fully expecting that to be censored. <laughs> Bold words for someone in assimilation range. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> if only we could assimilate them. If only we had the means to assimilate them. But we don't. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's it, you, it's clearly a bad time when, when I'm considering selling alloys. But it's all good. There's only about... Uh, there's less than 10 minutes left in the stream, and then I'm going to take off for the evening. I'm, I'm really not doing too much game-wise. We're kind of just letting stuff uh, fall to the wayside and everything fall apart, eh? <laughs> That's okay. Research System Capital included. Complex. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, commercial zones. Not that I like commercial zones. In fact, I really don't. Uh, running out of housing on here. Big time. Okay, no problem. Hey, it's not Earth. This is a fortress world. We have a lot of unemployed pops here. So we're going to need a stronghold. And we cannot do any more districts, even with Mastery of Nature. Damn, that sucks. Uh, minerals in 12 months. What do we get? Flash coolant 5. Beautiful. Let's start doing focusing arrays. Research concluded. Um, I think it's mostly Empire leader names. Planet aren't as big of a deal, maybe. Ah, that's possible. I could have sworn I was renaming a planet, though, and it... And it it censored a, it censored a word that just the w the way it was spelled. It had ass somewhere in the middle, even though it, that's not at all how like it was pronounced or anything like that. It was kind of interesting. You know what I think would be a cool feature? They should add progress screenshots. Just take a screenshot. 
Like every yeah, year or ten years or so, it takes a really screenshot of the entire galaxy so you can share progress as you play. Or you could just pause the game and, you know, hit the guide button and take a screenshot. Uh, that could be interesting. Oh, wait, wait, what? Try Are you serial? You want me to try that, JB? Alright, fine. Uh, hang on. Where was it? Where's Stitch? We're, this is our this is our testing planet for <laughs> trying out the sensor <laughs> the sensor board. Do it. All right, fine. J just for you. We are going with. We are going with Futbucker. <laughs> too much at too much effort. Uh, what's too much effort? Okay, so the correct way to spell that it does it it didn't work. <laughs> Obviously. Um Oh wow, I can't spell. There's supposed to be another T in there. Come on, Romy, get your shit together. Um Yeah, that's that that's interesting. It allowed but <laughs> But oh well. Man, we are so mature. We're giggling about the word butt. <laughs> Bunch of grown ass men. I love it. Um, shoot, what do I need to do here? Uh, last ditch. We've got 20 jobs available, though. I need to resettle some pops big time. Uh, so let's go to resettlement, and we're going to go to... Uh, why is this all so fucked up all of a sudden? Uh, we're going to go to not Earth, which we are at. Okay, cool. So let me resettle. Thank you. And do, 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 do. scroll all the way down, resettle, resettle, resettle. Here we go. And that should do it. Cool. <laughs> Too much effort to <laughs> eat. <sighs> Too much effort to take pics. Eh. I mean, Sometimes automation is handy when, when stuff just happens. I get that, but there's already a way to do that. All right, let's get rid of some technician jobs. We need, and Sadly, we need a few more clerk jobs because our uh, amenities are in the crapper on this planet. In fact, we can just do another hollow theaters. Complete. Oh, beautiful. We got the next uh, section of our ring world. Mistakes were made coming online. We suddenly have plus 600 food. Now, I don't know if that's because our economy has grown so much, which it definitely fucking hasn't, or if it's because we have had so many of our population die. <laughs> Good times. All right, let's get a couple sit. Ooh. Why can't I... Oh, I have no minerals. That's a pretty good reason why I can't build anything. Let's sell some food. Uh, I'm going to do something really bad called selling alloys. Never, ever, 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 ever sell out al sell alloys. Only bad kids sell alloys. And now we're gonna buy a lot of minerals. There we go. Now we can do stuff. Start with two city districts to get a lot of housing, and then we're gonna do a bunch of generator districts for a bunch of jobs. Here we go. Uh, where are these guys, anyways? Oh, they're still hanging around in the soul system whilst Earth is being purged. There's, there's still 61 pops here. <laughs> They're all being purged. Oh, or not 61, 32. I'm sorry, I can't count. I'm reading the wrong section. I'm looking at 61 open jobs. Derp. Where are you going? Moving to the Syntho Synthonus Maelstrom. Uh-oh. That, uh, that's a black hole in my territory, isn't it? Um, I can't remember where it is, though. Ah, it doesn't matter. So, uh, we're coming down to the closing minutes of the stream here. Um, I've maxed out alloy stockpile several times, so I sold a bunch and bought dark matter and living metal. Yeah, I mean, if you need the living metal to reenact, like, the uh, living metal mega construction edict, construction then go ahead. But as a general rule of thumb, pretty much never sell alloys. You sell everything else to get alloys. Uh, is largely what you want to do because you use those alloys to build your mega structures to construct more ships 
Um, even even go as simple as uh, construct more star bases to expand your uh, expand your borders and stuff like that. But uh, you would have to have like an extremely thriving economy um, for selling alloys to be uh, a good idea. Is it possible to do a sort of doom demons consuming the galaxy kind of run, kill the icon of sin, or at least survive it? Uh, you would have to go into a little more detail. Well, nice stream, GG. Well, thank you, Alisk. Thanks for coming by tonight. I greatly appreciate it. There was quite a few of you tonight. Uh, hit double digits tonight. That doesn't happen too often. Because <laughs> I'm just a little piece of shit from Canada that likes playing video games. What's your Discord? Uh, you, if you... Uh, runic, I make 1K, 1K hours. I'm only 1K? You gotta pump up those numbers, bro. Um... Uh, Runicat, if you check out any of my videos on YouTube, I put the Discord link in all of them. Uh, especially for my Stellaris videos. Um, what the hell was I going to say? Something, something dark side. Um, hang on, I'm just going to jump into the Model 16 Fabricators really quick. Uh, what were we talking about again? Again? Oh yeah. Um, market. Like, if you're, if you're in seriously dire straits with some other resource that you constantly need, like energy or food or something like that, or consumer goods, um, and you have no other choice because you don't have enough strategic resources or something like that uh, to uh, to sell alloys and that sort of thing, then there, there's really no reason to be selling them. You pretty much always want to be buying uh, alloys. Uh, like, even in this game here, where I'm making 3200 per month, <laughs> I sell a I, I sell everything else to buy alloys, absolutely. Um, what were we going to look at here? Would probably require a lot of digging through Doom lore for, for Empires, but Demon Invasion or something along those lines. I mean, that would be kind of doable. Uh... Just a ton of resource silos on a ring world using all the sections for the silos. That's really not a good idea. Um, you're better off you're better off increasing your monthly production of resources rather than increasing your stockpile of resources. And the reason for that is if uh, sh if shit goes down and you get into some big fleet battles and you need to replace those ships, it's you're far better off having more alloys per month. Uh, being produced rather than a high stockpile because if you completely deplete that stockpile uh, you know replacing all your feet fleets or building new fleets and stuff like that uh, you won't be able to bounce back as strong so a smaller stockpile but having more monthly gain you'll be able to bounce back and replenish those the ships that you're losing uh, m much much faster at a, um, at a much higher rate does that make sense I have a segment making alloys consumer goods energy and and research uh well i mean you could have them doing uh all of that uh you have one segment with uh you have like three segments for energy with the districts and each one of those doing alloys consumer goods and research and then your last section is food with uh something else maybe strategic resources or something uh but that doesn't really work too well uh, in my opinion. What the hell was I going to jump in here and show you? I can't remember. I seriously can't... Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember. We were going to look at something. I'm planning on building another ring world for other stuff too. You can only build one, I thought. Um, do, 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 do. Or is ring world the only mega structure where you can build multiple copies now? I know one of them you can build multiple copies. Eh, maybe I'm... Yeah, I'm... Uh, let's see the machine worlds. What about the machine worlds? That wasn't there wasn't really anything to show on the machine worlds. Um, oh fuck! I thought that I thought I was much later in this game. Okay, so I'm almost 300 years in this game. Uh, I've got 5,000 pops in my empire, and how many planets do I have? 53. And I don't really have any issues. Like this game has not crashed. Um. This game has not crashed for me yet. It, it definitely slows down, uh, especially because it's Iron Man. At the start of each month, it slows down big time when it runs all those calculations, uh, especially considering that uh, I have almost 5,100 pops, and I'm generating you know several thousand of each type of resource, uh, aside from strategic resources, obviously. Um, 
is the thing. I have two ring world habitats and, ta and taste ways. Taste ways? Gateways. Um, I know about the habitats and gateways. I forgot about the ring worlds, though. Um, it was the other ones. I I'm used to the old version where you could build multiple science nexuses and Dyson spheres and... You could, uh, you could even... I'm pretty sure you could build multiple century arrays, but there was never a reason to, which was kind of interesting. At least I think it was. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to... That's what I was going to talk about, is using the market. Okay, so... Um, there is almost no reason to buy dark matter off the market unless you have dark matter technologies. If you only get those from Fallen Empires, uh, seeing as how... You never need a heck of a lot of dark matter to construct a ship with dark matter technologies. Let's go ahead and take, jump into a shipyard um, really quickly. Actually, we're going to jump and take a look at the ship designer. So I've got I've got my battleships here. Uh, they have dark matter thrusters, 7.2 dark matter for that. And I have three copies of large dark matter deflectors, which is another 0.9 dark matter for each one. So we're talking about roughly 10 dark matter per battleship, which... Seems like a lot, but dark matter can be acquired from numerous sources. Um, and I'm getting plus 10 each month right now. So that's like that's like enough for another battleship every month. Uh, if I was seriously hurting on dark matter and I had an overabundance on, anything, on, any, on everything else, including alloys that I'm... Um, or I have an abundance on alloys but nothing else, I would consider selling alloys. But... It, uh, since that's not an issue, the number one candidate for selling stuff uh, for more um, to get more resources uh, is easily minerals because minerals you're probably producing more minerals than anything else every month because minerals need to always be getting increased. Uh, minerals are needed for converting into consumer goods, they're needed for converting into uh, alloys, and they're needed on the strategic resource buildings that are producing strategic resources such as the chemical plants, the exotic gas refineries, and the uh, synthetic crystal labs. Not the ones that can be put on a planet with the right planetary features, uh, like the dust caverns and stuff like that, but like these ones where they convert um, 10 min like every a single job needs 10 minerals to produce a little bit of strategic resources. So you always, always, always need to be cranking out thousands of minerals every month. And that's the best candidate for selling stuff. Unfortunately, the conversion rate gets really shitty when your economy is is big. But that's the best thing to sell for produce for getting enough energy credits. If you need to buy more strategic resources, that's the best thing to do it. I don't know why you can't build multiple Dyson spheres, because they're they're actually quite decent now, where you really only need one. I killed the Fallen Empire already. It took me two years. Most of that was waiting for my allies to take the planets. Uh, you should be able to build Fallen Empire buildings once you capture a planet with the buildings on it. That would just be grossly overpowered. You can still capture the Aiken Monopolis from the Materialist Fallen Empire, which is insanely powerful. You can build a whole bunch of these foundry arcologies. Uh, each one of these is a special district that gives you 10 housing and 10 fabricator jobs. Or, sorry, 10 metallurgist jobs uh, for producing alloys. So, if we take a look here... I have 150 fabricators for producing almost a thousand alloys every month on a single planet, so it's still super duper powerful. But um, uh, yeah, like your your economy would have to be absolutely through the frickin' roof um, in in alloys, but not good in everything else to, in order to uh, justify selling alloys. The conversion rate is amazing selling alloys. Uh, for energy and then using that energy to buy anything else but you're bet you're you're far better off using those alloys to uh build like i said big, big thing is build more ships especially when you're at war um anyways that should be it i've babbled long enough uh going a, a little over the two hour limit here uh huge thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing tonight's stream this was the last chapter of the planet express uh razor mortanus uh jb uh, Runicat, uh, who else dropped by here? Joe Frogman, I saw you there. Thanks for commenting, buddy. Sarthro, um, and Alusk. I don't know how to pronounce that. Alusk. Sorry, buddy, I'm, I'm butchering your name. And Lieutenant Rockstow, you you also dropped in. I greatly appreciate it. 
Uh, lots of new people dropping in. I could see at least your capital being able to build those buildings. Yeah, that would be nice if you were able to, uh, if you're able to have it where you take over, um, you, like you grab the fallen empire planets and then you can construct those buildings uh, on specific planets in other portions of your empire. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but as it stands now, the only hope you have is just capturing that Fallen Empire world. And it's kind of tough to manage at that point because those Fallen Empire buildings don't produce jobs. They just produce the resources by default. Uh, they don't need people working them, which is pretty crazy. Um, but you get a lot of resources that way. Um, so yeah, again, thank you to all those folks who dropped by to watch me playing this live. I greatly appreciate it. Those of you watching me play on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video uh, where everything was just going to shit and I completely ignored it, <laughs> give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris Console Edition. Uh, doing either of those really helps me out. And of course, share the video, share the knowledge of my channel uh, to get the word out about Stellaris Console Edition if you're trying to get more people into this fantastic game. Uh, that is the number one reason why I make videos for it because I really think more people should get into Stellaris console edition for me this was the sleeper hit of 2019 and uh, things have only gotten better throughout 2020 as we've gotten uh, multiple new DLC packs that have just made the game leaps and bounds uh, better than it was and uh, much more enjoyable experience uh, so yeah also, check out the links in the description below. You'll find one to the official Stellaris Discord channel. I provided that there for you. If you want to become a, a part of the greater Stellaris community, there are sections uh, of that Discord channel f dedicated for the console edition players. And there's several hundred, I believe, several thousand people from console edition in that particular Discord. Um, so yeah, be a part of the greater community that way. You'll also find links to my Twitch channel, which I stream this off of. Come on by, watch me playing whilst I am live. Uh, so I can interact with you folks. It's really fun to do that um, when you when you guys are here and I'm able to talk with you. Uh, the, I find these streams much more enjoyable uh, on my end as well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully some of you take interest in popping by. We're going to start a new uh, a new empire next week on December. What's next Tuesday? December the seventh? December the eighth? I think it's the eighth. Yeah, uh, Tuesday, December eighth is when we're we're going to start a new empire. A uh, brand new game uh, in the, with the stream game. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, also, uh, you'll find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below. Give me a follow there. really helps me out. And it's a great place to uh, share my videos as well. Last but not least, you'll find a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content. Um, we broke 150 members a few weeks ago, so I'm hoping to see that continue to grow and hit uh, 200 members eh, maybe by the end of the year. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight. I got to get my ass to bed, uh, and get, and get ready for work tomorrow. So, um, we'll, I'll be back later this week, Thursday or Friday. We'll be with some more battle stations Pacific. I should be able to finish off the, uh, uh, Japanese campaign. Um, if not Thursday, then at the very, at the very most, uh, on Friday as well. And then I'll be back again Monday with uh, some more Battle Stations Pacific. Should be starting the U.S. campaign by then. And Tuesday the 8th, we begin a new game in Stellaris Console Edition. So I hope to see you there. Until then, this is Mobius Wise signing off for now. You take care, everybody.